This video will go over the high points of the EasyCAD software which comes with our laser marking system. Through this presentation we hope to show how easy it is to create a marking template to allow you to mark on your materials. These are some of the areas you will want to become familiar with. First we notice the marking field. This field corresponds to the marking area that is predetermined by lens size. From there we move on to the quick drop panel where users can quickly select shapes, images, barcodes, or text and drop them into the marking field. This is the main control area for the laser to turn on and off. A part counter. A timer showing part marking time and total marking time. Here is the ability to switch the red pointer function, followed by the laser control panel which controls power, marking frequency, controls how fast or slow the mark is, and other items. Finally, a box that shows all of the items listed in the order in which the laser will mark the items. Let's start by drawing a basic shape like a square. Here we can see the square as an outline. If left like this, the laser will simply outline the square onto the part. If we fill it in with what we call a hatch, the laser will fill the image or etch the image. We can rotate the square by clicking on it and rotating the corner. We can simply hit the delete button after selecting the item to delete it. Let's draw a circle now. By selecting it and dragging a corner, we can resize the circle. Now let's drag in some text. In the text box, let's type our text. We can move the text. Now let's change the font in the drop down font menu. Click Apply. By scrolling the wheel or using the zoom function, which is the magnifying glass at the top, we can zoom in. Notice how the scale changes along the edges. Now let's fill in the text using a hatch. Let's import an image. Here we have an image file that is vectorized. If you need to learn more about vectorizing images, feel free to reach out to us. Let's resize this image. Fill it in. Let's make a QR code that will point to a website. Click on the serial code and drop it into the workspace. Click on the text box. Type the website in the text box and then select QR code under the barcode font drop down. Hit apply. Now let's hatch the QR code. If we mark this QR code onto a part, any smartphone camera can instantly recognize it and send a user to the indicated website. Let's change the internals of the laser. Here we can change the spot diameter, marking speed, and how frequently the photons bombard the surface, known as frequency. Drag another code onto the work surface. Change the type back to text. Click Enable Variable Text. This area is where the software can adjust the mark based on variables that are changing like serial numbers, time, date, or you can even push files or databases to the laser. Let's sample mark a series of parts with a changing serial number. Enter the start serial number and the increments at which it increases. Notice that we can even index this to a time component for shift work. Let's start at number 1. Here we can see when we mark the part, the index occurs. Let's see how this occurs using a barcode. Select a barcode. In this case, let's use code 128A. Hatch the barcode. Here we can visually see the barcode changing. Now let's make another barcode and hatch it. This allows us to change options specifically related to this barcode. Clicking on Show Text allows us to see a number of options including height, width, and other variables we can adjust for the text that is under the barcode. This panel allows us to make changes to the barcode itself. Press OK and we can now see the number which the barcode is based on. If the numbers are too close, we can change that. Go back into the menu and simply adjust the settings for the text under the barcode. Again, hitting the mark button or triggering the laser with a foot pedal or F2 will index the mark, change the barcode, and increase the part counter. Our laser systems are built with 7 IO ports to easily hook up to robotics and can be built with a robotic interface control cards if required. 
For more information, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe for more videos or comment below on anything else you would like to learn more about.